Hello. I just wanted to make a little video on uh, Mr. Beretta while I'm having some fun here. And what I wanted to do is show you something. A lot of pistols, most pistols that I've dealt with, including the SIG 226 that this replaced, tends to, uh, you have to put your sight like right under line it up with the back the rear post with the front post right up under where you want to hit and it, and it makes it in the case of the beretta it tends to in my experience land right below it in other words right behind if, if, if i fired right there it would hit lower than where i'm where, where you're seeing that hole but if if i it, if I, if I covered the, the, where the hole is with my sight, it would go right through the hole. I'm not used to that. And it's correct. Beretta is super accurate, super duper accurate. I mean, like that was just about 10 feet away uh, just a few seconds ago, just tight group, tight group. One of those was double, double shot, or excuse me, double action, followed by a Mozambique drill to the head. head. Now, to compensate and make it more like what you're used to, or what I'm used to in this case, uh, all you simply do is take that front sight. Here, let me move it up so you can see a little bit better. Take that rear sight, front sight, instead of have it right there making contact with that post with your eye, as your eye as from your point of view. Raise it up just a little to where the dot, the round dot, is just halfway. Ah, kind of hard to do it on this phone, but halfway above those two posts, side posts, in what I call the sunrise position, just above, where there's just a little bit of, of black showing in between the rear white post and the front white post, that front dot. If you do that, it'll land and aim just, put, and then put your point of aim right above the front post, you'll get it which is what I've been doing for the past, you know, five minutes. And it, it works great. It's super. And this, this gun is just a tack driver when I, when I started doing that. I mean, before that, if you'll, you'll notice in the previous video, it was shooting just a little bit low, but with very, very tight grouping. And that's the reason. So I love this gun. The more I shoot it, the more I love it. And the less I, I miss my SIG 226, as good as the 226 is. And it is an excellent gun and a classic gun on its own right. But the Beretta M9 is just top notch for a nine millimeter pistol. The quintessential American nine millimeter. So let's, uh, so you're not just hearing me talk. How about seeing me shoot a little bit? right in number seven on the side. Check that out. And that was off hand, just one hand shooting. So I'm gonna keep having some fun here, having a good time. I hope you enjoy your weekend as well. Uh, hope this has been beneficial to you. Thank you for watching.